Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and last time we explored most of the village of Hato, where everybody talks in haikus, and I ranted about a whole bunch of other topics, uh, both Dragon Quest, RPG uh, related, and channel related. There was like basically channel related announcements in there. Uh, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. I wonder, it, was this woman, like, did we meet her in the palace at, uh, back in Heliodor? I wonder if that's the same one. Uh, but anyways, she's not that important to the character, so let's go over here and smash some barrels. Of petty... pretty beef? Petty beef? I didn't catch that the first time I was playing uh, through here. I didn't really read what it was, and then, uh, yeah, it, it's it's hard for me to read the text on the uh, the editing screen where I'm watching myself play this as I'm recording commentary. Does it sound tempting? Will you don some lighter clothes and join your comrade? Well, that's what I'm here for. Okay, so we're going into a sauna, but we're still wearing, like, a full, like, long pants and a shirt. I've, I've been in a sauna, personally, when I was up at college, they had a, they had a sauna there, and I, I would use that. And, uh, usually I would just go in a swimsuit. I wouldn't want to go somewhere where I'm getting, like, super duper sweaty, and wearing like like that although there were some guys that, that did that they come Finally. in with like I was wondering where you like got uh, sweatpants and a hoodie me. on and all this, this other heavy stuff they were like idea. wrestlers and they needed to to lose a few pounds uh, We've got in order to, to compete in so their we weight well class or whatever it. we've earned a little break wouldn't you say Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. Before so, you ask, no, you I was not on the wrestling town, team, huh? even though See I am a pro wrestling fan. You'd know that if you checked uh, out my uh, Final Fantasy yeah, X Let's Play. Because that whole She's game is like to be pro wrestling bars, references. <laughs> no wonder they kicked her out. It gets kind of ridiculous. Okay, so we I don't envy her uh, reference that sister game. To run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. Eric's saying some minorly important stuff. <laughs> Where are you? That doesn't sound uh, good. Did you just say something? Yes, I did. No, I did. Uh, do you really you? not know? I guess I shouldn't ask if uh, Eric doesn't know the sound of his voice. Because, for whatever reason, we're still doing the silent protagonist thing. Huh? I is that a g g g That sounds like a girl. <laughs> I can't find you anywhere! That is exactly what I would expect a crying little girl to sound like. You scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? Uh, who's this you? <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why did you leave me all on my own? <laughs> Sounds like she's lost someone. <gasps> Wait. Do you think this it's must uh... be the girl whose big sister's looking for her? Yeah, that girl. Why don't we see what we can do to help. Yeah, why not? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Connie? Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us, and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. 
You know, taking the situation out of context, you have two teenage boys meeting up with a, what I'm going to guess is a 8 to 10 year old girl in the bathhouse, and now we're taking her with us. That sounds really bad. Uh, we found holy water, which we need after that. Alright, so we come out to here. This is. I, the cutscenes have warped me. This must be the girl's side. We. We'll go through there later. We'll go through there on the way back just to see what happens. Because I'm sure someone will get mad or something. Oh, there's water pouring off the building there. That's nice. Uh. A sensational puff puff. It's it's only twenty gold coins. Why not? I, what is it? Puff puff. So much puff puffing. Okay, we get. Well, we got an accolade for that. The power of puff puff. Whatever. Let's go. There is a Puff Puff person in the first Dragon Quest game. I'm sure that's like a running thing or a reference. Did I just miss a barrel? Oh, no. That's not a barrel I can do anything with. Okay, good. Because I was going to say, I, I remember past gameplay me did not uh, find a barrel out on the porch there. That's why I got all antsy with post-commentary. Again, with the weakest barrels ever. How do people keep buying that company's products? Whoever makes those the most frail barrels ever. Okay, we're running backwards through the uh, girls' side. An intruder... I <laughs> Does the sun enter the moon's <laughs> Yeah, they got mad. Uh, wow, we got an accolade. For exploring the great unknown. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, yeah, we're, we're all done. Can we... I guess we're not going to change back? Yes. Okay, we are going to change back into our normal stuff. Alrighty. And, okay, Connie's still following us. Because, yeah, I got a little bit worried there because she kind of stopped following us as we were going through the women's side. I suppose, you know, two teenage boys taking a small girl through the women's, basically the women's locker room at the bathhouse. Not the best, you know, way to go about that. By the way, don't, don't ever do that. Just some advice for you guys. Okay, ah, there's, uh... Now listen you, I ask you a simple question. I'm have telling you, seen my I sister haven't seen not? your sister. He just said well, he hasn't well, seen your sister. You know? Stop yelling Looks at like her. Looks like she's picking Him. fights with grown-ups again. This girl annoys me. <gasps> I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. Well, I'm sure they only wish that you didn't bother coming oh, here. it's you! Hey kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? She's not your sister. I don't know why she's... you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. Huh? Uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. So now we're dealing with Gosh, two lost where do I people. Start? Did you not think of 
I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Okay, it wasn't an idiotic conclusion, but otherwise Listen, I agree with your stuff. point. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. Because, you know, you should have asked her, you know, who have you lost, but, you know, she's going around town saying, I lost my sister, and we find a little girl who says she's lost someone. You know, it's not an idiotic conclusion to put those two together. But I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Oh, and now you want to come with us. No. No offense, but I'm coming whether you like it or not. I figured that would be your response. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Don't worry, you don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. Right, because you're you relying on them now. <laughs> Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Hey, Jace is Let's like 16, bar. and you're probably not much older than that. Well, we'll go to the bar like Veronica wanted to talk to the owner. It's, it's like everyone in this town just completely lost their common sense. Welcome to our inn, a safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. <gasps> Warnings unheeded. The fish returns to oh, the tree. Oh, again with this fish in the tree. What's Stop with the haikus. You're as annoying as she is. She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding doors. The fish has a chaperone. She is... Uh, Welcome here. Be yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, he kind of no deserves that. Here, are they? Service, if you please. Huh? A fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine warming brew. Again with the haikus, my lovely, gosh. But I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. Left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward she wandered. Sensing her sister, she said. Guided by voices. What voices? Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me. And I was already back here. So, how did you not cross paths at some point? I was kidnapped, Whatever. you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. And now you think your I sister's an idiot escape. for going so off I to try and save you. So I came back to find you. Serena, but it looks like now she's going to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travelers. Anyone with eyes can see that. And I don't sure. have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? As long as she has a better personality than you. I I, I'm you not going to bother down. saying no, because the, the game's probably just going to force us to say Are yes anyways. I want to come with you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry. I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you. So be a good little girl till we get back. Mm. Mm. You... You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're gonna be able to keep up? Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. Can someone I'm just please smack her? I'm worried about you slowing me down if I'm completely honest. 
Then why did you invite us right. along with you anyways? Let's head west, shall if you we? didn't actually the want us to. The is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. I'm pretty oh, sure we'll find Serena fun. in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. So you know we're the luminary. She must have seen the mark on our hand. Which means she probably knows more than what she's telling us right now. Okay, she does. But uh, we'll worry about that later. Clearly, we have to go to a dungeon and get her sister. Who's hopefully not as annoying as I, I am not a fan of Veronica. At least as far as her the personality goes. But I mean, I do respect that they varied up the personalities with the characters so they're not all just generic. Hi, I am so-and-so. Let's go adventuring together. I want to stop the bad guys. I see... They have more of a personality. Kind of like the uh, characters from Lunar Silver Star Story. You know, Nash was a pretty obnoxious mage as well. But he was more like uh, stuck up and pompous. Whereas Veronica here, she's more like rude and bratty. And nobody likes rude and bratty. I was thinking I could have taken out that shoe slime in one shot. Veronica... Uh, since she's not officially in our party, is just going to be acting on her own. And these little snail things, they're going to cast some spells. I'm going to put Veronica to sleep. I don't care. I didn't put Veronica to sleep. Okay. I'll go after the Bongo Drongo before he gets nasty. Oh, you can't even cast him. You're quite the failure there. Okay. Oh, that's all for that. And so we want to move westward. We're actually heading towards the cryptic crypt. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a pleasant place. There's a certain reference I'm going to make. I just got to think of the right way to phrase it first. Yeah, it is... Uh, yeah. But we could go up the mountain on the way there. Yeah, we might check that out. We have a campsite coming up, too. We'll go camping and see what sort of crafting stuff we can do. Can I do crafting right now? Did I get crafting recipes last time? It's, it, I, I recorded the last commentary, you know, on a different day, so... And I know coming up we're going to get new crafting stuff. But that's in... that's within a couple parts. Alright, we... um... Yeah, no, no. We're, we're not gonna do that, you know? We're gonna go where the game wants us to go. We're not going to... No, we're not going to get mauled by bears. <laughs> or a bear. That just looks like nothing but trouble. Okay. Uh, do I feel like messing with any of that? Not really. Yeah. But we could always use the experience. And money. Because we are almost out of money. Okay, we're going to take out the Bongo Drongo, because that is the threatening enemy. Whereas, Draw Drone... Okay, you decelerated him. Which is annoying, but it's not... It's not like these things that are damaging us. And Veronica, while she's with you in this uh, stage, she's not going to be casting any spells. And I was always wondering, like, why, you know, you, you talk about how great your magic is and then you don't cast anything. There's actually a reason for that that gets explained later. It would have been nice to be, have that kind of explained 
now. So you don't go, oh, here's a spellcaster that's hanging along with you that is never going to cast any spells. So don't try and count on that. Aha. Where's Bird coming? Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Hit this, and we get Iron Ore. Which we needed that for one of the side quests in the town. So that's nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight. Yeah, I wanna do a little bit more fight. I do wanna try and get over to the cryptic crypt today. I say try to, but I should already know where this is going to end. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get there, or at least get to the entrance. That phrase fits her. Hey, we got a level. Hooray. Got three skill points. Um, oh, I do have something to use here. And I can get this um, Persecute. And then it'll take 16 points to get dual wielding. Kind of wish we got more than two or three per level up. But it is what it is. All right, dual wielding, and then I'll. I once we get dual wielding, I can decide if I want to, like dual wield swords, or still stick with knives, or maybe some combination of both. I wonder if we can like dual wield. Can we dual wield boomerangs? That would be awesome. Or if we could dual wield like a boomerang and a sword, or something like that, a boomerang and a knife, and then use skills from the boomerang and the knife tree at the same time. That would be cool. Uh, there's some, some, some she slimes by the seashore, and they're running away. Probably go sell some seashells. Well, since they ran, I don't need to. Yeah, I don't feel the need to. Uh, I'm gonna run too. That's annoying. I want to be experienced. Uh, okay, time to take down Bongo Drago here. Oh, he's summoning other one. Okay. Well, I guess that's one way to get more experience. And you're also going to summon another Bongo Dragon. The enemies in Dragon Quest 3 could also do this. I didn't mean to attack that one. Oh, this is good. And since Veronica's kind of a guest character right now, and her HP isn't displayed, I'm guessing she's going to be like Sandy, uh, the dog from the Cobblestone Tour, where she's just going to have infinite health. I'm okay with that. Uh, Jace also got a level, so I think that means it's time for another sword skill. Uh, Dragon Slash, yes. Awesome. Uh, and that also boosts attack power with the sword. So I may need to get that. And that secret requires me to go... That requires me to go up both sides. Yeah, I don't know if that's really going to happen. Finescence and strong medicine. All right. Well, we got our level up, so we're I'm more comfortable pressing forward. Don't worry, you can't fall or anything off that bridge. It'll be fine. Oh, another new enemy. Let's sneak up on him. Ten! It's a walking corpse. Aren't these, like, sometimes called orcs? Or is something along that nature? They typically have, well, I was going to say low defense and high HP, 
but this still seems to have pretty average defenses and, well, and above average Who HP. Who else wants some? <laughs> Very well. This thing, uh, Cryptic Crypt, checkpoint to the left. Um, yeah, I, we want to go this way. There's the campsite. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rest up. Yeah, we are gonna do forging. And because our forge leveled up, probably from the last time that we did forgery stuff, we got uh, max focus. No double edge, double edge bash. That's cool. We're gonna have to try that out. Alright, what new stuff can I forge? I believe we got... No, it wasn't swords. Uh, what did we learn that we could make? Oh yes, the gold ring. We have to make a gold ring. And he asked us not to equip it, so we're just going to make it. This was for one of the side quests back in the town. Uh, flourishes. Okay, so these are the special abilities. Uh, Double-Edged Bash, of course it says it was, uh, you know, one on top of the other, and this one just goes left and right. Oh, yeah. Okay, and we got both sections into the green, so this should at least give us a plus one. Uh, which, lo and behold, it does, so that's what he was asking for, something that wasn't just gold ring, but gold ring plus something. So uh, with that, we can complete that side quest next time we go back to town. I'm not going to worry about that right now, because, well, we're going to have to go back to that town anyways to wrap up that stuff. And it doesn't look like there's anything... Uh, oh, scale... Yeah, that's good. And we have all of the stuff we need to make it, because I have been uh, exploring and collecting the items along the way, so... Yeah, we'll make the scale armor. And here we can use the double-edged bash, so yeah, you can see the two there. Oh, we got the bottom one already. Uh, let's just do another one. Uh, puts all of that into the correct zone. Yeah, this thing is nice. Oh, and we even got that one to the uh, perfect spot. So let's finish that up. This might give us more than plus one. Actually, it does. Uh, it's going to give us... Come on. Plus two. Yeah, bronze armor plus two. That's going to be really nice. Uh, really nice armor for Jace there. And I think we're all set. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to equip that bronze armor plus two. And I'm going to save it, and we're going to leave it off here. Okay, so we didn't quite get into the cryptic crypt, but uh, we're very close to the entrance. So it's it's not going to be... It's not going to be long. Yeah, look at that defense boost. That's awesome. And there's the gold ring, which looks like that'll boost our defense a decent chunk for an accessory. But the guy asked us not to equip it, so we won't do that. Uh, yeah, we'll rest up. Till dawn. And I will see you guys next time.